Thousands of people in Cuyahoga County were kicked off the voting rolls in 2019. And if they don't re-register, they may not get to vote in this year's presidential election. News 5's Caroline Sweeney was with one group signing up young voters ahead of next month's primary. What do you expect to hear at a high school basketball game? But what about Hello, ladies. this? Are you registered voters? With hours before the deadline, a last minute push to register anyone. Hey, fellas. And everyone. Are you registered voters? To vote. Hi, sweetie. Are you a registered voter? If they say yes. Excellent. Excellent. If they say no. When are you going to be 18? These volunteers signed them up. So what we need you to do is you're going to fill out all of the highlighted sections in yellow. I guess it's kind of important, though, right? In 2019, almost 29,000 voters were taken off the rolls just in Cuyahoga County alone. When you compare our state compared to other states surrounding us, we actually do a lot worse with um, voter registration. We have about 1 million people in the state of Ohio that are not registered to vote. That's why Representative Bride Rose Sweeney proposed legislation to prevent the purge. Hey, I'm so excited. She calls it an opt out system instead of what you see here. And how old will you be? An opt in system. It was like I'm growing up. The new legislation <laughs> would require schools to give the Secretary of State's office student information. You're just what we're looking for. So they could be added automatically. Really, if it wasn't for today, I probably wouldn't register to vote. I knew it was important. So for tonight, they already had it out there. So I'm like, it's an open opportunity for me to sign up. And that is exactly why these women are here, so young people can access these voter forms. But I feel like voting is a good, a good uh, step to change. To let their voices <laughs> be heard. In Warrensville Heights, Caroline Sweeney, News 5.